Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to take a look at setting up a Power Automate flow that automatically posts an RSS feed into uh, your Teams channel. So right here, I've got a uh, Microsoft Teams app opened up on my Mac. Uh, it's right from scratch. I don't have any Teams channels in here, so we'll create a team, we'll create a channel, and then we'll see how we can go about um, making some RSS feed posts if we're lucky, uh, and you'll see why lucky shortly. Uh, so we're gonna start by creating a team from scratch. We're gonna make this a private channel. Uh, feel free to make it public if you like to. I'm gonna call this the IT team. All right, and just uh, IT team communication. That's all we're gonna do there. We're gonna hit create and give that a second to work. Awesome, so that looks like it's done. Add members to your team, I'm gonna skip that for now. Uh, you can if you have some members, uh, I'm gonna leave it as a demo thing, I don't really need that. Uh, all right, so now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and create a channel and we're gonna call this uh, Tech News. And we'll say uh, latest tech news updates, perfect and it's standard and we're going to automatically add this to everyone's channels list so as soon as you join the IT team you automatically become a member of uh, of this channel okay we'll hit add awesome that's done all right so now we have a tech news uh, channel in our IT team uh, let's hop over into the power automate section of this so using either an admin account or any account that has permission to you know, use uh, Power Automate for your tenant, you can go ahead and sign in here. And then on the left-hand side, there's a little uh, flow button here, which says My Flows. Click on that. Uh, obviously, if you have any, they'll show up in here. Uh, we're gonna do a new flow, and we're gonna do a blank build your own. We'll call it an automated cloud flow. Uh, and we're going to search for the RSS trigger. Oh, sorry, that's actually the flow name. My bad. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, so for this, I'm just going to name this the first RSS feed that I want. I'm going to call this bleeping computer RSS. And I'm going to search for the flow trigger, which is an RSS feed. And we're going to hit create. Awesome. So right off the bat, it says, hey, what's your RSS feed? I have a, a plugin for this. You don't need a plugin, it's just, it, this is totally optional, but essentially what this does is, is it'll find RSS feeds on the website that you're on. So we'll go to bleepingcomputer.com and then you'll notice uh, if you click that, it automatically gives you the RSS feed URL. You can just copy it right from here. It's just easier instead of like searching for the RSS feed on their website, uh, this will find it for you. It's pretty good. Uh, the name of this, plugin it's same it's the same for edge and chrome but essentially yeah it's called rss feed finder uh you know it's probably not the most trusted plugin in the world so once you're done with it you could just dump it and delete it uh or don't install it find your own rss feeds whatever you want to do uh okay now that we're here and we've got that rss feed we'll paste it in and this is kind of like short and cut off thanks microsoft but essentially you're just picking uh when this gets posted so basically as soon as it the article gets posted or the published date rather uh it'll sh show up on your team's channel all right so now that we have that we're going to hit new step and we're going to choose the microsoft teams option here and from the list we're going to look for post a message in a chat or channel perfect we've got that there all right, you'll have the option to post as the bot, meaning it'll post as the Power Automate bot, or you can post as a user in that channel. So uh, I don't need it to show my name, I just want it to post as the bot, so I'm gonna go ahead and do post as a bot. It'll automatically, uh, once you pick your channel here, post into a channel, it'll say pick the team ID and pick the channel ID. So we're gonna go ahead, give it a sec to load. Microsoft does all this on the back end already, so as long as you're signed into the tenant, it'll actually pull up all the teams that you have access to. And then automatically 
there's our tech news channel. Awesome. So we've got all that set up uh, pretty quickly. Uh, there's really not much going on here. And now we need to decide what's going to be in the actual post. So right off the bat, you would definitely want to have the feed title. Right, then you want a feed summary, so you can get like, you know, the first, I think it's like 20 characters or whatever uh, of the actual article. And this way, if you're interested, you can click on it and, you know, read further. And to, to read further, uh, what you want to do is insert the uh, primary feed link. So basically these three items here, uh, you can also add some custom text if you want. Uh, totally not necessary in this case. So essentially what you want to do here is just hit save. Okay, and it says your flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it. The sad part about an RSS feed is you have to wait for someone's, something to actually post in order to be, to be able to see it. But this is pretty straightforward. Uh, once you've saved it, you can rest assured this will work. Uh, you don't have to you know, worry about it. I mean, if, if, if it doesn't work, what you want to do is check and see that uh, your RSS URL is good, because uh, I've seen if it's a bad RSS URL, that might be a reason for it to actually fail. But for something like this, totally, totally simple. Um, now, if you have multiple RSS feeds that you'd like to add, you can add a new step, put in one more uh, feed, and then have it post to another channel. That's, you know, you can just kind of have it going down uh, like this uh, in sequence, or, what you can do is once you've saved this, you can go back and you can copy copy this flow. So you go here, you copy it, save as, you'll have a second one. This won't be copy of bleeping computer. We can erase that and we'll say uh, Ars Technica, for example. Ars Technica RSS, you'll save it. All right now you have Ars Technica here, but it's not live. Right, so you'll need to go in here and actually edit the flow, change the URL here for Ars Technica, save it, and then uh, make sure to make it active. So just for argument's sake, I'll do arstechnica.com, copy URL, and we'll paste that in there. Perfect, save. Okay, once that's saved, this you don't have to touch because all that remains the same. And we'll go back here. Let's go back to my flows. Okay, and then you'll just have to enable this flow or activate it rather, turn on. Okay, so now that it's on, you've got two, two RSS feeds um, that work. You know, some people prefer to have it all in one, but that gets messy in my opinion. I just, I'll break them up unless you have, you know, so many that are it just, it's not efficient to have them broken up like this, then yeah, probably have them all in one. But I think breaking them up, whether you have, you know, 10 or 20, no big deal. Uh, I think it'll, it'll work just fine. So that pretty much sums it up. I'm sorry that we can't actually test it because there is no article from Bleeping Computer at this given time, but uh, it does work. If you have any trouble, please let us know in the comments and we'd be happy to look into it with you. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.